Hey guys, uh, this is a study guide or a walkthrough for the University of Reddit game programming course. I am not the instructor. Um, I am a developer and I have made a few games. Um, and uh, I am this guy on Reddit, Tangent Storm, and you can contact me here if you want to uh, ask me questions or whatever. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you probably want to check out this link, uh, University or you read it dot com class 268 which is also uh the, or the subreddit is uh reddit r learn programming so um and this is that page uh the university reddit page and you'll notice that this uh course is aimed it says this course assumes basic programming competency um and i know some of you guys haven't done much programming at all and uh may not have ever done any programming and so it might need a little extra help. So uh, this is for you. This is for you guys. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, this is our, this is the subreddit here. And you see the first lesson here is posted, uh, lesson one, lang languages and libraries. Um, he goes into, uh, the, the course is run by uh, Squash Monster here. And he's got gone through a lot of detail on a lot of the options that are out there for making games. Um, and you should definitely read all this uh, if you haven't. Um, and it actually goes on. It's continued actually in the post here. And so there's quite a bit to it and definitely worth reading. Um, and I also will point out that there's a link to a, uh, a Java program that he's written that has uh, the basics of the assignment uh, filled out for you. Um, so, yeah. And I'll we'll actually look at that in a minute. Um, but there's also one other post in here, which is the uh, lesson one homework drop-off point. And it, uh, I'm just going to point out that this is where you, this is where you put your homework, but it's also got a nice little summary of what it is we're trying to accomplish. So this is our goal for today: is to um, make a game or at least a program that uh, is going to create a display, uh, put a window on the screen, basically, load an image into that window. Um, Starting a start a timing loop, which uh, we'll get to in a second here or later on, and um, draw that image every frame of the of the, of the game, um, and then we're going to have some input so that you can move your your little image around on the screen, and it'll be a little bit like a game. Okay, um, so here's his example program, um, which you should definitely uh, check out, and if you've never done any kind of programming before you might not know that this is not how most developers look at source code, okay? Um, and so if you don't have any uh, kind of uh, tools or experience with this, um, you, you might want to download uh, a program uh, called IntelliJ IDEA, I guess it's called, and there's a community edition, and it's basically for Java. Um, and I'll show you, but it takes this and it turns it into a nicely formatted, you know, colorized code where you can collapse things uh, and you can, you know, jump to specific parts of the thing. So this is how a programmer looks at code and it's called an IDE for Integrated Development Environment. There are many, many, many IDEs out there. Um, I like this one. It's free for Java. Um, or I like it for Java and it is free, the community edition. Um, and it's uh, very, very nice. Um, uh, but we're actually not, I'm not actually going to use Java today. Um, I want to show you a different language that's a little bit easier to use um, and, and, and will save you quite a bit of typing. Uh, you know, he, he's basically starting from scratch here and, and, you know, plugging in all the multimedia stuff. You know, he, he's building a whole framework here because that's what, what Java does. And, uh, you know, he is doing a lot of work here that you would do if you were really making a, a game um, from scratch. Uh, but I'm going to start with something that's a little bit more high level um, for you guys that haven't done a lot of programming to begin with. And you'll see it, it takes a lot less uh, typing, a lot less work than what, what, what was done there. Not Maybe not quite as powerful, but uh, it'll def definitely get you up and running faster. So it's called processing. Um, Processing is a very Java-like language, um, and it's free. 
uh, it's actually aimed at students and, and people and you know graphic designers and people who haven't done the programming. So uh, that's why I thought of it. Um, <clears throat> and it also uh, is pretty portable. It runs, uh, you know, it's 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 based on Java and, and it runs on the Java virtual machine. So it'll run, like, as you can see, on on Linux, Mac OS, and, and Windows. Um, and it also also actually compiles to um, Android, and so you can get it on a, a smartphone and um, there's also a port of it uh, for JavaScript, which uh, called Processing JS, which is at processingjs.org, and uh, it allows you to compile and run it in a browser in JavaScript. So, you know, if you want to target it for maybe an iPhone, you, you could run it in the browser there. Um, so this is what we're going to use, and um, uh, you can skip downloading all this because I'm going to recommend going to this place. Uh, it's called uh, Studio Sketchpad, and it is a processing JS IDE on the web. It's kind of neat. You can actually um, make uh, little sketches, they're called, uh, which is what processing makes. And you can click on it, and you can see code. Uh, you can actually share this editor between multiple people. So if you have a friend that you're working with, um, you can run it right there in the browser. This is a demo I made a long time ago of uh, Conway's Game of Life. But you can see you got these nice interactive graphics. It responds to uh, mouse input here. So you, there's a lot you can do. And it, it doesn't take a lot of code to, to make that happen. Um, actually, this app does have a lot of code because it's simulating the Game of Life. But you can see there's things like on mouse and mouse press that just kind of come out of the uh, come free out of the box with with uh, processing processing. So um, uh, I don't know why that's taking so long. Uh, anyway, you sign up for an account. It's free, and then you just click this new sketch button in the upper right hand corner, and that's what we will use to get started. Um, it actually does not display very well on uh, on this little screen size I'm using for the recording, so I'm going to switch to another uh, window here. Um, <clears throat> and you can see it, it doesn't give you the nice colorized code, um, but it does uh, it does play right in the browser. This is the default program that comes when you hit that new sketch button, uh, and it's just doing some animation here. Um, and what I was going to say is if you if you're like me and you would prefer to see the syntax highlighting, whatever, you can actually pay, download processing itself from processing.org, which gives you this nice little IDE, and um, you can copy and paste that code right in here. And it, it, I think it looks a little bit nicer. Um, but you, like I said, they're, they're basically compatible with each other, so uh, you can work in either and swap back and forth and, and whatnot. Um, so this is a second setup I recommend. Um, and we will be using this uh, very shortly. Um, and so I came here and my first thought was, how do I load an image? And so that's why you saw that uh, little Google search there. Um, and so I actually don't know how to do this yet. And, and so my thought was I would do it and let you get a glimpse into how a developer might approach a new language since uh, you're approaching a new language and how to um, find the information you need and uh, put the pieces together. So I'm going to stop the tape here and I'm going to start another uh, recording where we'll just find out if I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit.